Hey guys, welcome back to my channel NaveenReviews.com, your best source of product unboxing and reviews. And today we are reviewing the Vanguard Alta Pro 263AB. I believe there are different variants uh, in this product. So this is with the pan head. So you actually can you can you know basically use the slider kind of effect using this tripod and uh, yesterday's video and the previous videos all were recorded uh, with this tripod and i just wanted to review it today i mean it's uh, this is one of the best uh, tripod i think this is one tripod for all of the purposes so if you are into product photography or product reviews then this tripod also has amazing option like you know over the head shots using this tripod you can get that i didn't find any other tripod with with so many flexibilities i believe manfrotto also designs and sells few of the products which has the overhead flexibilities and also the tilting effects but uh, those are very costly and uh, i cannot afford to spend so much of money on a tripod so this is an alternative for the mean if you're looking for a good tripod then this is the best solution for you you can use it in multiple ways and it will uh, you know justify all of the requirements so that's a box hey guys so let me bring in the tripod so this is the tripod the alta pro 263 at and this is the ball head which you can use uh, so let me just show you what all it has apart from uh, apart from what I have already told you So there are two notches here. So the benefit of using this tripod is uh, you can actually you know get some amazing slider shots so if you see right now how well it actually bends and uh, uh, It goes in both the directions. So it goes in this direction as well. So if you see this is the uh, smooth transitioning ball head which is uh, which is embedded here and uh, it also goes in this way and also the the top head the top head also tilts so it can go from left to right and right to left and to manage all those things they actually give two of these handles so this comes in the small holder but i don't uh, see it of much quality so you can always uh, if you're not interested to store this or keep this then you can always remove it let me just uh, open this now and uh, fix it on there and show you how you can build or how you can configure this so, I'm just so this actually you know breaks up if you tighten it more it actually breaks up so I don't feel that this is of, of any help here so you can if you're not interested you can just throw it off okay let's put it aside and okay so let me just raise it above and see here so this is the first one so let me tighten this yep. so as soon as you tight it will not go upwards so earlier it was moving so if in case you wanted to have some shots with those kind of effects then you can or you must have to loosen it a bit and let me also put that farm this is where it actually goes in so as soon as we tighten this as well the the head movement will also stop so let's tighten it yep so right now it's completely tightened up and the other benefit of using this tripod is that it comes with this three uh, bubble indicators or bubble level to just show you how how well you have balanced it in all the three directions that's an amazing 
uh, flexibility of using this I didn't find it in my old tripod which I'm using right now uh, to record this video so that's a drawback of using a uh, normal normal tripod and also this also has uh, you know good flexibility like if you're trying to do some overhead shots you can always do it uh, let me just show you how well this actually goes in that direction because I was looking for a tripod which can do an overhead shot and I didn't find any any of them so this is one good solution if in case you are in the market for that option as well so to do that what you have to do is uh, if you see this notch or screw here so this screw you actually have to loosen it up let me just do that behind the scenes so I've loosened it up so now my tripod will actually completely come out so, so this is a top head and uh, there's a small uh, you know spring action button here to actually bring it out or else you cannot bring it so let me just we have to go back this uh, there's an indicator as well so you have to stop it before you completely pull it out from the bottom portion just slide it here and tighten it up so now so if you see the tripod has actually bent now yeah so this is how it looks guys apologies it's too dark but I'm actually I've packed up all my studio lighting so I will I will just show you this it looks like I mean the whole purpose you have understood how it looks so i'll show you the, the the subsequent video of using this overhead shots you can always refer my previous videos always shot using this tripod so guys so this is how it it looks after you try to do an overhead shot so there's a small clip here kind of a thing which holds this moment of this head so after you are done with the shot you can just release this lock and put this back in this direction and loosen this guy and, and yeah make sure you slide it slowly because my previous tripod I've actually broken it because it didn't had this kind of a uh, cushioning kind of thing so I I used to immediately drop it and what it did is it actually broke the middle part there's a plastic layer in it and it got broke so just make sure you handle your tripod very good in a neat manner and safe manner so once you're done you can just put this lock and that's it it is locked now and you cannot bring it up and you can also adjust the height or you can adjust the height using the extension legs the extension tubes kind of thing this is all I believe uh, it's made up of uh, aluminium this is not carbon so it is it is okay a bit heavy but carbon would be much lighter and it is also costly so I don't I didn't feel that uh, I didn't feel good to spend so much of money there and the legs are also pretty okay to you know withstand multiple uh, usage like in different locations you can extend the legs using this aluminium this plastic locks and the other benefit of using this tripod is if in case you are having a heavy mounted camera and you actually wanted some stabilization though you, then you can you know clip something here you you actually get a sandbag separately for ten dollars if in case you wanted to use it so that's also from Vanguard and I believe it costs somewhere around ten dollars so you can fill in that bag with some sand and hook it up to this so that a tripod will have more stabilization so the overall appearance uh, is this guys so it looks like it is okay to have this tripod for multiple uses or multiple purposes you can have this tripod for multiple uses and it also comes up with its own uh, tool set 
so they provide this tool set to tighten up if any of the uh, any of the nuts or bolts gets uh, loosen up so you have this flexibility as well so the overall i believe this uh, this tripod uh, is mandate for you if in case you are looking to have a tripod for multiple users don't take a standard tripod now if in case you are initially look uh, planning to start up a channel so you must always have a tripod which can do all all purposes things like as this one like it can do the overhead shot it can do the panning and tilting and it also uh, you know it also has a very good build and the price is also affordable so for like hundred dollars you are getting all the three things i believe it it retails about 160 or 165 but i believe it's okay to have one tripod for all the things and you can have another tripod as the other one which i'm using uh, to just uh, do some some kind of you know balancing if in case you're using slider or anything so that's it guys so this was the the whole uh, review of the vanguard alta pro 263 ap i hope you have liked this video to subscribe to my channel and also leave in your feedback if you have any questions i'll definitely try to answer them thanks guys take care